looking at the headlines across the state, it's not pretty. Gun violence continues in Chicago. Uh, there was a drive-by last night where uh, one of the headlines is 13, 14 people shot, including three children. It's pretty remarkable, but you've also got gun violence that's happened even here in uh, Springfield. Uh, and uh, Peoria and Decatur and uh, East St. Louis and, and, and all over uh, areas of the state that are uh, more densely populated. Uh, but you also have a, um, a shooting that happened at a school in St. Louis uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so uh, still uh, a lot of uh, a lot of this is fresh in people's minds. Uh, what should gun owners be thinking about as they head to the polls? in just a week's time to talk more about that and some events that they have coming up all throughout the state including here in springfield uh we're talking now with john bach he is the executive director of guns save life john thanks for taking time with us this morning uh if you could just react to i guess the 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 spate of gun violence stories we see in illinois in chicago elsewhere throughout the state uh, and uh, the 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 response that uh, a lot of people have about hey we need more gun control is that the is that the right direction Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, boy, there is a lot of violence out there, but it's not uh, gun violence. It's gang violence. It's gang violence. We've got crime on our streets thanks to soft on crime policies, uh, and uh, gun owners are obviously concerned about crime. They're worried about property values that are declining because of uh, violent crime in their neighborhoods, uh, such as Inglewood, where property values have dropped, what, 22% in the last year alone. And, uh, you know, when we got kids that are graduating that can't read, uh, what is it, 1% or 2% of kids that can read and do math in Decatur uh, that have graduated, uh, but they can't read or do math in uh, grade level, but uh, just 1% or 2% of them. You know, that's why gangs are so appealing to these kids. But, yes, we have uh, Gun Save Life meetings across Illinois at Gun Save Life, including there in Springfield. We'll have uh, the wonderful uh, Mary Miller uh, will be our uh, main speaker. Congressman Mary Miller will be our speaker uh, next Monday uh, at uh, the MCL cafeteria there in Springfield. And we've also got a uh, school resource officer uh, who's uh, very active in the whole school resource officer nationwide, uh, Rich Hirsch. He's the uh, District 87 here in Bloomington, uh, Director of Safety and Security. He's going to talk about uh, how to identify if your kid's school is uh, safe and if it's not, how to approach the administration to uh, make changes to make the school safer. So, again, that's going to be Monday here in Springfield, Election Eve on November 7th. It's going to be at uh, MCL Cafeteria uh, where you'll hear from Congresswoman Mary Miller uh, and I'm sure others are going to be speaking as well. Um, But, John, you know, we hear from uh, some of the uh, uh, political actors across the state. Uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker has said that uh, we need to ban what he calls assault weapons. You've got um, the issue of Highland Park and that mass shooting. Uh, that uh, has some state lawmakers pushing for some kind of restrictions on what types of guns law-abiding gun owners can purchase. Uh, how how do you anticipate that's gonna that's gonna play out um, after the election? Well, it's going to be symbolism over substance because they can pass all the gun control they want, but under the new Bruin Supreme Court decision. Uh, that uh, new gun control bans of guns is not going to stand up to. Uh, the uh, precedent uh, set in the Bruin decision of the U.S. Supreme Court, and those will be struck down. Uh, they can't uh, they can't ban these guns any more than uh, under Roe versus Wade. They could ban abortion. Uh, so uh, it's going to be interesting to watch how things unfold. Uh, where Illinois is going to become a lot more friendly to gun owners here in the next uh, three to five years. Uh, in fact, uh, our lawsuit challenging the Floyd Act is. Uh, likely going to be coming up with a decision here by the end of January. Uh, And I look for the Floyd Act itself to be struck down and any of these new gun control laws that are being promoted by some of these uh, um, talkers uh, that prefer uh, symbolism over substance. Uh, If we want to work on our crime problem, maybe we could work on uh, our uh, education system here in Illinois to uh, make gangs less appealing to these individuals who can't read and write. Uh, when they come out of school and uh, make gangs a little less uh, appealing to these individuals because 
if you can't find a job, you have ec- no economic future. What do you, what have you got besides crime? And that's uh, kind of where we're at. And, uh, you know, it's driving down our property values. It's, uh, uh, obviously making the streets less safe for our families. And it's just, just awful, uh, uh, what's going on here in Illinois. It's uh, turning into a crime ridden cesspool up in Chicago in particular and other bigger cities across Illinois downstate. We're talking with John Bach. He is executive director of Guns Save Life and a lot of meetings coming up uh, and you can get more information at their website. Um, We'll get that uh, detail out to you. But again, uh, Monday next week, uh, the day before Election Day, uh, they're going to be out at MCL Cafeteria in the evening with uh, special guests uh, for their for their meeting in this area. But you can also find uh, meetings elsewhere uh, throughout the state for Guns Save Life. Uh, John, uh, you know, as people head to the polls, um, and 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 they're 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 thinking about which candidate to support. We've got several contested races here locally, uh, in the state senate. Uh, where where can they find comprehensive information on how these candidates stand for uh, the Second Amendment? Well, between uh, our website at gunsavelife.com and the Illinois State Rifle Association's website, uh, isra.org, there's two great locations right there. And uh, for NRA members, they can visit the NRA's uh, Political Victory Fund website uh, and check there. Uh, But I think uh, just common sense, uh, just a modicum of research on a candidate will tell you whether or not they they support the uh, Safety Act, which is going to be the uh, purge law come January 1st, uh, whether or not these candidates support uh, gun control or if they support gun rights. Uh, You know, gun control only uh, only impacts uh, victims, not criminals. Gun control uh, does not uh, impact the ability of criminals to carry guns. It only impacts the ability of law-abiding citizens to have guns and use guns to protect their families from violent crime. And uh, it should be an interesting election, to say the least. I mean, obviously, their voters have a lot of uh, self-interest to go out and cast a ballot this time around and uh, encourage your friends to go out and uh, cast a ballot for uh, pro-freedom candidates. Uh, vote freedom first. And uh, get out there and vote, folks. Get out and vote. Again, John Bach with us. He's the executive director of Guns Save Life. You see their news publications uh, free to pick up all over the place. And, of course, you can uh, stay plugged in with what they've got going on at their website. John, give us the details of the website again and uh, kind of an overview of uh, meetings, not just in Springfield, but uh, some other meetings that are coming up in the uh, the week ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got, uh, it's gunsavelife.com. Uh, as you mentioned, gunsavelife.com. We've got uh, Peoria tonight uh, with Representative Tom Bennett going to talk about the Safety Act and some other issues. Uh, Wednesday night in Macon County at the Mount Zion at uh, Causes Pizza, we're going to have the uh, Macon County State's Attorney talking about the impact of the Safety Act and uh, all that there in the Decatur area. Uh, Thursday night will be uh, uh, Peoria with uh, Rich Hirsch from the District 87 Safety and Security Officer. Uh, He's going to be talking about uh, what's going on in the schools and how to keep your kids and grandkids at school safe. And then next week, of course, we've got Springfield with Mary Miller. And uh, Tuesday night, we've got Rantoul. And Thursday, we've got uh, Charleston. And Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, we've got Lake County up way north. Uh, We've got a a speaker there going to talk about 911 and what happens behind the scenes when you make that call to 911 for help. So again, uh, all kinds of events. Uh, you can see uh, articles and more events at the website Guns Save Life. Is it dot com? Dot com. Yes, right. sir. John Bach, greatly appreciate you taking the time with us, and uh, we'll definitely be connecting again in the near future. Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a great day and a good weekend. You too. It is Springfield's morning news on WM.